The countdown continues as we take a look at enhancements made to the modeling workflow in Houdini 10. While many people import models into Houdini from other apps, there's a growing trend to take advantage of Houdini's procedural approach to creating geometry. Based on user feedback, these improvements will increase productivity and allow modelers to do more of their work right inside Houdini. First new tool is Edge Loop, which makes it easy to break up a model using Edge Loop cuts. This tool lets you use one single click on the edge of a polygon to create a loop. With this workflow, you can quickly add lots of edge loops with only a few clicks. In the network editor, you can see how the edge loop tool actually puts down polysplit operators. This shows how the Houdini shelf can provide a second interface to an existing tool that helps reduce clicks and speed up workflow. The next new tool is the knife, which lets you use a click-drag cut in the viewport to slice a polygonal model. Once you release the mouse button, the model is sliced into two connecting pieces. After the model is cut, a handle is provided which you can use to adjust the positioning of the cutting plane. By default, both sides of the model are kept, but you can also choose to only keep part of the geometry by setting the keep parameter. Now part of the model has been cut away. Houdini 10 also has some new selection options. In the right mouse button, Selection menu, you will now find options for growing and shrinking your selection. You can also use Shift-G and Shift-S to get the same functionality. In Houdini 9, the Delete key was set up to blast selected faces, edges, and points. With Houdini 10, the Delete key now uses Blast for faces, but uses a Dissolve for edges and points. This behavior creates a more usable topology and makes this hotkey more useful for day-to-day -day work. When creating models, sometimes you need the transformations created at Houdini's object level to be applied at the geometry level. The Freeze tool will take all of the values at the object level and put them into a geometry level node. If a model has been scaled at the object level, then those transformations can adversely affect modeling operations at the geometry level. By freezing the transforms, you can work more cleanly at the geometry level. The Boolean tool can now be used on more than two objects. In the network, you can see how this creates a chain of cookie stops that intersect by default. You can change the kind of interaction to get any shape you need. The Extract tool has also been improved to work better at the object level. You can now select several objects and the Extract tool will create a new object with a combined geometry from all the objects merged together. This is a great way to quickly build a single geometry object out of several different pieces. These little workflow improvements can make a big difference in production and demonstrate the commitment SideFX has to helping customers in all areas of the pipeline.